Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. As you are watching this video, I will be in Disneyland Paris with my friend Cordelia. I am so excited, I can't wait. Today is packing day. And because it is a packing day, I thought I'd show you what I am taking in my Disney Parks bag. I have watched so many of these videos, they are my favorite to watch and I hope you enjoy this one as well. So, when I went with my family back in December, I took a crossbody silver bag. It was quite small and it was instant regret as soon as I got there couldn't fit anything in it, every time I had a water bottle I had to carry it instead of putting it into a bag and it was just a bit of a nightmare really so this time I thought I'm going to be sensible and get myself a backpack. So I got this one off Amazon, it was 9 dollars and it's very similar to the Kipling bags so I'll leave a link to this down below. I originally was going to get a Kipling and then I saw this which was much cheaper. So let's start with what's on the outside. I have just got my water bottle, this is from Robert Dias, I think it's one of the Polar Gear drink up water bottles, it's just got all the timings down the side. This I got on sale for $2.99 I think, they had a massive clear out of them so I ended up buying one and then off Etsy I got one of these vinyl stickers with my name on it because quite a few people at work have the same water bottle in the same colour so I got my name put on mine but this was again quite cheap on Etsy, I'll link the link down below of where to get these Rhino personalised name stickers because they're great for water bottles and lunch boxes and everything else that you could possibly put your name on. The good thing about this bag is it has lots of zips and compartments so I'm just going to go through them all individually. I'll start with this little top zip up here. So this you can't fit very much in but I have just decided to put my inhaler up there which I don't need on a daily basis but with hay fever season kicking in I thought I would take it with me just in case. I heard the tree pollen is quite high in sort of Paris at the moment, so I'm not taking any risks. Along that same route, with pollen counts being quite high, I also have a eye mist. This is just the Alice's Dry Eyes Eye Spray. It's great, I love it. I use it at work all the time so my eyes get so dry. And Next up, we have this little zip compartment at the front here. This one's a bit bigger than the one at the top, but it is quite shallow. So in there, I've just decided to put my phone, just so I can grab it in and out. And along the lines of ease of access, I've also put my vlogging camera in there. This is the Panasonic TZ57. The reason I like it is because it has got the flippy up Screen. I only paid about £80 for this on eBay and I needed a new vlogging camera so this is perfect. I also then just have like a little tripod, this is off eBay, again £2.99, I'll link it down below if I can still find it, it's one of those ones where the sellers just randomly disappear but then reappear under a different name. But that is my little vlogging setup, so there will be plenty of vlogs coming your way. Now we're on to the main bulk of the bag, so it just opens with a little magnetic clasp here, and then you have two zip compartments, zips are on this side here. So I'll start with this first one. This first one I think is designed for tablets or Kindle readers, or maybe a very small laptop, if you, they do them this small. They used to, I think, do some really small laptops, but Besides the point, I'm off on a tangent. I have decided this would be perfect for keeping the headband Mickey Mouse ears I'm wearing that day. So I've just put my Donald Duck ones in there just to show you guys. But if I'm starting to get a headache and these are just annoying me, or if it's raining, or I'm going on a ride where I can't wear them, this is where they can just go so they don't get all screwed up and crumpled. And then the piece de la distance, the big main compartment at the back. This bag is actually fits more in than I thought it was going to. When it arrived, I was like, this is not gonna fit anything in, but it can fit all of this and my jacket and there'll still be a little bit of room. So I'll start with what I've got in the very, very back ugh, zip compartment that is here. So in there, I have just put my two little pouches that I'm keeping stuff in. I have this one, which has just got two spare batteries for my vlogging camera and a spare memory card. And then I just have this little old mint tin that I am keeping plasters, paracetamol, ibuprofen, that kind of stuff in there just so it's all easy access and not floating around in the bottom of my bag, which is never good. Then this main kind of section is divided by another zip compartment, which I haven't put anything in. And in the back of this pouch, I am keeping my autograph book. This time I've decided to make my own. I got one at the parts last time, but I filled it up and I feel like I'm probably gonna meet more characters this time. So I got this notebook from the works for three pounds. I then got this vinyl sticker on Etsy. Again, I will link it down below. And the pen, again, I got off Amazon. This is just a pink paint marker. I also have a black one in my bag. And this, yeah, this I think in total, even with the pen and the vinyl sticker, cost me 
I say like eight pounds and part the author I've put in the parks are like 12 euros and this is really chunky and I can use on more for trips. I also got my friend Cordelia a matching one for her birthday so hopefully by the time this is up she will have seen this video. If not, surprise, you've got a matching one of these as well. Then we're on to the last three items I've got in this bag. The first one is my portable phone charger. This is off Amazon. I really, really like this one. I used it when I went to Drag World last year, went on holiday in October, and I used it, it gives me in December. It literally has so many chargers on it to charge your phone. This is amazing. If I can still find it on Amazon, I will link it down below. Just got my cable attached to it. This is just a spare iPhone cable I've got. Then we have my wallet. This is just my little rose gold Ted Baker wallet. I absolutely love it. I've got so much use out of it since I bought it. And I just like the fact you've got room for sort of two cards. You've got a little space here to shove some receipts if need be. You've got two compartments. So I like it for traveling because I can have English money on one side and then whatever currency I'm traveling with on the other and then just a little zip compartment for coins and various other like little bits and bobs e.g like tiny little coins I never know what to do with when I get back into the country probably still have a bit of euros left in here so I will sort that out in a bit then the last item I have in my bag is my sunglasses case this is absolutely filthy this used to be a really nice light pink but I've had these sunglasses like a year and a half going on two years now so there's no way I can keep a light pink please clean. And I'm just taking these. The weather is supposed to be quite nice while we're there. And these are my favourite sunnies. If you've watched any of my What's In My Bag videos over the last year, these will definitely be in it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. That is everything I'm taking in my Disney Parks bag. There will be plenty of vlogs coming, so make sure you subscribe and like and leave a comment down below. All of that usual jazz. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.